Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to do race 21 of 36. I'm here at the Fame Brickyard 400 here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the running of the Brickyard 400. Um, today I start ninth. Good qualifying run, you know. Hopefully I will get my fifth win this season. I actually want to win this Brickyard 400 pretty bad, so I'm going to try my best to try to win it. And hopefully this goes better than the last two races I've had. Even though last race at Pocono Race was so crazy, I ended up eighth. So let's see if this race is easier and calmer. Let's get this race underway. Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. The Brickyard is a track with a lot of history, and it's seen plenty of great racing over the years, hasn't it, Barney? Indianapolis Motor Speedway, what a deep history this place has. I still get chills walking into this place. Speaking of history, there will be a lot of drivers fighting to get into victory lane for a chance to kiss the bricks after this one is all over today. The 82 car is always near the front of these speedways. That's right, and I think she will have an excellent run in this one as well. I spoke to the crew chief this morning, and he assured me that they have a very fast hot rod. In 1992, Kyle Petty enjoyed one of his finest seasons in Winston Cup with a fifth-place points finish, two wins, and five front-row starting spots. And he followed that up with another fifth-place points finish the next year. But after that, he struggled for a long, long while, reaching a career low of 43rd place after the 2001 season. Field is the 40. 
All right, folks, here we go. 16 laps here at the brink yard. The green flag is out, and we are underway. Looks like Dale Jr. is going to lead the first lap. He is my rival from last the last race at Pocono. So it might be tough to get around him once I get up to him. Or if I do get up to him, I should say. I'm just going to stay to this bottom lane because it seems to be working fine. Wish Jimmy wants to put the block on me. Hate when they do that. Oh my god, very close there. But I'm gaining ground, which is good. Holy crud. Got teammates one and two right now. Junior and Michael Waltrip. Both DEI cards. And then you got Harvick, Johnson, Sterling Marlin, and then me. Looks like I'm about to grab a top five spot. Oh, that was my bad. Alright, now I have to finally get below Jimmy Johnson. Oh, look at that, Harvick. Putting the block on me. Whoa. Oh, about to go on the wall. That's not good. Alright. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, wow. Oh, Harvick. And he's in the wall. Harvick's in the wall. Right in front of me. Thank God I avoided that one. Because I was close. Oh, come on, Jimmy, I'm underneath you, dude. Uh, grab third. Here I go for second. Wow, I have a good run in turn one. Alright, this is going to be difficult because that's Junior and he's my rival. So this could get an interesting game around him. Yeah, I know that. I understand that. And I became rivals after the Pocono race, last race. Man, did my car not want to turn there. Aha! Oh! It didn't work. Now I don't have the momentum to pass him. Some drivers are coming down pit road right now. Holy, holy, holy hell, holy hell. <laughs> oh, I'm in the wall again. Oh, look at me sideways there. Look at this. I got to run on the outside finally. Going for the lead. 
Oh, can I get the lead here? I got the lead, folks. Ten laps to go here at the Brickyard. That was a nice move for the lead, wasn't it? Ten laps to go. I actually want to win this... I actually want to win this race pretty bad. I won the Daytona 500 earlier this season, folks. I want to win the Brickyard 400 now. Someone's slow in turn one. Someone blew up or blew a tire or something. Oh my god, look at that. Trying to stay, a lap, uh, stay on the lead lap and he's trying to block me for it. Yeah, 1.6 second lead. Pretty good lead. Now, now all I can't do on the pit stop is make a mistake. That would have been bad. And I'm pulling away pretty good. Alright, let me see. Who's down in the apron? Let me check. I'm not going to get too close, though. That's Kevin LePage blowing motor. Not surprised it's him. <laughs> You know what I mean? Nope, no one's pitting yet. Look at that, I got a 3.4 second lead. That's a pretty good lead. Ain't the biggest lead I've had this season. We got eight laps to go. I know I still need a pit. Oh, I messed up going in this corner. Man, I cannot catch Casey Mears or anyone. They got fresher tires. I should pit next time by then. Here comes some of the leaders on the pit road. I actually can go in their extra lap to lap 12. I mean, I got a big lead. Wow, that was close. I almost spun the thing out. Yeah, I can go in their lap. Why not? Oh, this race is calmer than the last one. Now look at the lead I have. Some of the drivers still ain't pitting. How many more laps can I go? Alright. I'm gonna let Labani go. He's got fresher tires for me. I'm gonna go one more lap around, folks. One more lap around. I'm gonna try to stretch it as much as I can. Yep, now everyone's coming in the pit. Yeah, 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 I'm coming in. I'll come in basically with four laps to go. Maybe this gamble will work, I'm not quite sure. We will find out.
Alright, I'm coming in this time by, folks. Alright, let me, whoa, let me put that down. Four tires. Oh man, this is actually nerve wracking for me. I'm not sure if this is the best strategy I just pulled off. <laughs> we'll see though. Oh, come on, four tires, no mistakes, please. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Oh my god, they're coming. No! Bad mistake then. Oh, come on, get up to speed. Get up to speed. Get up to speed. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm in the grass! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, okay. That wasn't fair. Let me slow down a bit. That wasn't fair. I panicked. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, Tony. I didn't mean to do that. Here, I'll, I'll be fair here. I'll let them catch up to me. That wasn't nice. That was my fault. Well, I, you know, I, I was going down that apex. I was going down that apron, that uh, ape, that pit road lane. And I think I was going too fast. Alright, I let them caught up to me. That was... <laughs> can't believe I just did that to Tony Stewart. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Look, I put him right there in the wall. Like I said, I think I, you know, I was, I had too much speed going in that turn to Apex Road and stuff, and my car would not turn. So, yeah. Two laps to go, folks. Can I win the Brickyard 400? We will see. I just led the most laps in this race, so that's good. You know what? I could have wrecked myself, too, because I was just carrying too much speed coming out of pit road, out of that apex road. I panicked, you know? I panicked. If I slow down once, I'm going to lose all that momentum, and they're going to blow by me, and I'm going to lose this race. Man, Sterling Marlin is behind me, though. Oh, crud. No, 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 no. I'm tight, 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 tight. Man, Sterling Marlin's behind me. That's not a good thing, actually. I need to try to hold him off. Alright, final lap, folks. White flag. Can I get my fifth win of the season? And win the Brickyard 400? Can I win the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same season? And better than that, can I win the championship soon? Can't say I won the championship yet. Here we go, turn three. Alright! Yeah! I'm gonna win the Brickyard 400! Hell yeah! This one's over with. We're first. That's a great win for a great team. Let's keep it up. And my first win since Sonoma. I haven't won since Sonoma, and I just finally did now. Let's celebrate. Oh, I'm in the wall. Oh yeah, that's a, oh, good burnout, nice. And I just blew the motor, who cares though, right? All right. Yeah. 
I can speed down paper all I want. That was a good win for me, but it was a risky one. It was a terrifying one when I was trying to grab the lead back after the pit stop. That was pretty terrifying. All right. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Well, to be honest, Joe, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. Just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you really can dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup race. The 82 car was the car to beat all race long. Now, this was a race you'll always remember. What a great feeling it must be to win a race in such a dominant fashion. All right. Let's go to victory lane. Nice. So I win the Breakyard 400, I get to kiss the brace, and I get that nice trophy. So minus 2 with Jimmy Johnson, minus 18 with Dale and Jr., 9 for Ricky Red, and 9 for Jeff Gorn. Nice. Alright, race results. I win. Sterling Marlin 2nd, Dale Jarrett 3rd, Michael Waltrip 4th, Bobby Levine 5th, Dale and Jr. 6th, Ricky Red 7th, Jimmy Johnson 8th, Ryan Newman 9th, and Rusty Wallace rounds up the top 10. Let's check the point standings. Alright, so here are the point settings at the race 2136. I am now leading the point settings by 271 points over Kurt Busch. Ryan Newman, third in points, 325 back. Jimmy Johnson, fourth in points, 373 back. And rounding up the top five in points is Dale Knight Jr., 386 back. And rounding out the top ten in points is Kevin Harvick, 531 points back. The top 15 in points, um, Bobby LeBron, 11 in points, 566 back. And rounding up the top 15 in points is Jeff Burton. 795 points back. Well, folks, the next race is going to be at Watkins Glen for another road course race for the series at the Glen. Can I get two in a row there? Can I sweep the regular road course races this season? Find out at Watkins Glen. I will see you there.